Good day. I'm going to go through some facts on aloe and chemotherapy. I've been doing research for over 30 years on aloe and I've never seen any problems with aloe in any drug because really it's a very safe food. So uh, I have a few slides we can go through here and I think you'll feel real good after I get through with the evidence that's recently appeared in the literature. Here we are. Now let's discuss a recent study using aloe plus chemotherapy. It was published in the In Vivo Journal in 2009. It was conducted at the Division of Radiation Oncology, St. Geraldo Hospital, Monza, Milan, Italy. There's recent advances in tumor immunologies that suggested the possibility of manipulating the effectiveness and toxicity of cancer chemotherapy with immune modulating substances like ace manin and aloe. 240 patients with metastatic solid tumor were randomized to receive chemo with or without aloe. We had four different types of cancer. One group received standard cancer therapy listed here. Half of them received the same therapy plus 10 milliliters of aloe three times a day. That's about a third of an ounce of aloe three times a day. There was a positive response of some kind in 34% of the patients if you added aloe, and only a positive response of some kind in 19% of the patients without aloe. That's almost twice the response simply by adding aloe. Now, a complete response was achieved in 10% with chemo plus aloe, and a complete response in 3% with chemo alone, which is standard for chemo with patients with cancer like this. Aloe plus chemo increased the efficacy in terms of both tumor regressive rate and survival time. Here's the survival curves. You'll notice the top curve represents chemo plus aloe. Aloe was well tolerated in all patients. No undesirable effects were observed. The amount of tumor regression and disease control was significantly higher in patients treated with chemo plus aloe. The average number of lymphocytes was significantly higher in patients treated with chemo plus aloe. Aloe improved the effectiveness and reduced the toxicity of cancer chemotherapy. Aloe with ace manin is proving to be a valuable addition to complementary and integrative medicine. It was the author's opinion that the information available up to now could justify the clinical use of aloe in human metastatic cancer, at least to improve the efficacy and tolerance of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Make sure the aloe you use has ace manin. Check with the manufacturer. Here's what you should expect. One ounce of aloe contains approximately 150 milligrams of total polysaccharides, which contains approximately 60 milligrams of polyacetylated mannan. That's the active immune mole molecule, which can be sheared into 50 milligrams of injectable ace mannan. Since most of our initial studies that we conducted were on injectable ace mannan, most of the people uh, who publish simply use ace mannan when in fact they're really not shearing it, they're using the polyacetylated mannan. When we first isolated the polysaccharides, we call that manipole. I was surprised to see 10% versus 3%, three times the number of patients who survived simply by adding a third of an ounce of aloe three times a day. If I knew someone who was going to have chemo, I'd be sure to share this article with their doctor. Thanks, and I'm excited about future studies coming out. We'll let you know about them as soon as we learn about them. So in conclusion, I'm really excited about the articles coming out on the polyacetylated mannans and aloe. And I'm very excited about the fact that the whole world seems to be working on it since the patent has run out.
I can't wait to see more and more research which will enable everyone in the world to get the benefits from the special manins found in aloe.